Hello, my name is Gilbert Rivera, and today I am going to show you how to effectively encrypt a file attachment and send it via email using free software developed with the intent of protecting your information. Sending information via email attachment is quick and easy, but is open to risks that someone other than the intended recipient can intercept it. This can be a very serious problem if the information contained within the attachment is sensitive or confidential. To keep your contents of the email secure, we will go through some basic instructions on how to password protect file documents and then encrypt the file so that you can send it safely. The software we will be using is called 7-Zip. This is a free open source program that compresses numerous files and folders into a single archive file that's easily transferable and also uses an encryption software that scrambles the data making it very unreadable. Once a message is encrypted, it will appear as a meaningless garble of characters to anyone except the person who has the password to unscramble it. Now we will start the demonstration by downloading this software to our systems. We will first go to www.7sip.org in our web browser. On the home page, click on the top download link for the latest versions of 7-Zip. Once you find the version for your workstation, just click and it will ask you to save the program file. So we will click on save file and we will save it on our desktop to have quick access. Once the data has downloaded, We'll go back to our desktop and click on the file. This yellow information bar is a security measure which occurs when any software tries to install itself onto your computer. It requests information that you want to download. So to confirm, just click yes and it will start to download. The setup wizard will then ask you where you want to install 7-Zip. As a default, it will have chosen your C drive. This is the default destination for application, so you do not need to change it. Click Install to begin the installation. Once installed, close the setup wizard by clicking Finish. Now that we have the software on our computers, now we can start with a demonstration on how to encrypt a file attachment. Let's start by launching 7-Zip using the Start menu. Go to Start. All Programs, 7-Zip, 7-Zip File Manager. In the 7-Zip File Manager, located the file that you want to encrypt. The File Manager will list all the storage drives on your workstation. Once you have located the file that you want to encrypt, select it by clicking it once. So the file that we're going to use for this example will be on my C drive under a folder called Test testfile.document. With, with the file highlighted, click Add. Now this will open a new window called Add to Archive. At the top of the left column, change the archive format to zip. At the bottom right column, check that the encryption method says AES256. Above it, type your chosen password into the entered password text box. For this, we'll use test1234. Now we'll re-enter it again. Now we'll click OK to close the Add to Archive window. Back in the File Manager, you can see the encrypted and zipped file. You can identify it by its icon, which is of a folder with a zip through it. You can now send files as an email attachment, but remember not to include the password in the same file. So now we're ready to send our file attachment. So we'll go to open our emails. This is my email here.
just a random uh, email test. Put some uh, subject in the body. And now I will attach my encrypted file. And I will send the email. Now, one thing that's very important as a best security practice is do not send the password to the same recipient in the same email. So for in this case, I will send an additional email. And I will send them the password. Now that you have sent your file attachment and also your additional email with the key password, you can be very confident that all the information stored within that zip file is very secure. Now, I want to show you a quick demonstration on how to open an encrypted file using 7-Zip. It is actually easy, just like if you were zipping a file, we'd have to open the 7-Zip again. The start, all programs, 7-Zip, 7-Zip file manager. And let's say it'll start from the beginning where you have to locate the file that you would like to unzip. So we're basically going to unencrypt the same file that we encrypted earlier, the test file. So we'll go to C drive, test, zip file. Double click. Now it's going to show the contents that are in the zip file. So we want to unencrypt this document. So we'll click twice. And it's going to ask us to enter a password. So we will enter our password. As you can see, I have the show password, so it can show the same password that we uh, decided for the file earlier. Right Click OK, and the file will open. Easy and simple. Now, a couple of best practices when practicing this um, method and using it in your day by day. Just make sure that passwords are hard to guess. Between 6 to 12 characters in length, and at least one capital letter and one symbol. Do not use words that appear in a dictionary. Never send out passwords in the same email as the encrypted files. Always confirm the identity of the recipient before releasing the passwords and inform recipients of passwords either face-to-face, -face, by telephone, or in a separate email. Uh, these security practices will help ensure the integrity and that this email with the file attachment that you're sending goes to the actual person that is intended to. Thank you very much and I hope that this video helps and thanks for stopping by.